Your dad really couldn't teach you how to fucking wash a dish. Your dad couldn't teach you that your dirty clothes go in the fucking laundry basket. Your dad couldn't teach you that when your dog shits, you pick up the shit and throw it away. Your dad didn't teach you that if your dog pees in the house, you clean up the piss and throw away the piss towels. Your, your, your dad never taught you that shit? No? That's crazy to think. That's crazy. I'ma tell the story of how I lived with the world's worst fucking roommate, world's dirtiest roommate, nastiest, smelliest, unhygienic, disgusting ass roommate. It started in Korea in 2017. I just came out of basic in AIT and my first duty station is in Fort Hood, but my unit was in Korea. So I got sent over to Korea. And that's where I met everybody that I know that I work with because there was nobody back at Fort Hood because everyone was gone, like off of rotational deployment. Blah, 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 blah. So basically, I didn't, I'm the new girl, obviously, so I didn't know anybody. And the only thing that, the only reason why I kind of started talking to this girl, what should we name her? What should we name her? Brittany. McBeaver. So the only reason why I started talking to McBeaver's ass is because I remember seeing her walking down from like the little like uh, shopette and she was walking down. She had like a full face of makeup and you know, I obviously like to do makeup. So I, being the new girl, was kind of like, oh my God, I could probably bond with somebody with something that I already know. And that's exactly what happened. We ended up bonding because we both had this common interest and we just clicked from there. <sighs> Worst mistake of my life. Let me just say that right fucking now. I should have just been a loner. I should have just stuck to myself and not talked to nobody because yo, this bitch almost ruined my freaking life. Okay. So we're gonna fast forward into February of 2018 and that's when we all came back to Fort Hood. And her and I are already friends at this point because like I said, we already bonded off the makeup and she was married, but her and her husband, I guess were in the process of getting divorced. That never happened, blah, blah. That's a fucking, that's a full ass story itself. So I guess she didn't have a place to live and she didn't tell any of her NCOs like, hey, I don't have anywhere. I'm basically homeless when I get back. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> So the NCOs caught on knowing that we're like already friends. We were always together. We worked, we were in the same company, the same fucking platoon. Like we were both maintenance. So, you know, the, the NCOs kind of caught on knowing that we were really good friends. At the, Cause dude, I didn't know anybody. Like I latched onto this girl, you feel me? So I was like, whatever. So we've, so the NCO came up to me and was like, hey, you know, Zavala, do you mind if this girl which is McBeaver's ass. She, he was like, hey, do you mind if she stays in your room? No, 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 that's not what happened. And you, that's not how it started. I actually lied to you. The way it started was, so she didn't let any NCOs know that she was homeless. So last minute they had to get her a barracks room. And the way that it goes that if you're a married soldier, you can stay up in the barracks up to two weeks. They'll give you two weeks to find a place when you get back home. That's just how, that's just, I don't know if that's policy, but that's what they do so that you're not homeless and you have time to find somewhere to live. Okay, cool. Bada boom, bada bing. This girl went the two weeks. What? <laughs> so this girl went the two weeks living in the barracks room and it was the same barracks as mine. So, oh no, no, I'm lying to you. She was like, a, <laughs> she's in the barracks across the street. She's in the overflow barracks and she's gonna live up there in two weeks. Live up there, live in the overflow barracks for two weeks. And in that time frame, she was, she was supposed to find somewhere to live. However, she never did. So after the two weeks was up, they were like, yo, I don't care if you don't got nowhere to live, you gotta get out these barracks because your time is up, boo boo. So they kicked her ass out of the barracks and she was like telling all the NCOs in her chain of command, like, I don't have anywhere to live, blah, 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 yada, yada. So that's when the NCO came up to me and was like, hey, Zavala, do you mind if McBeaver lives with you until she finds somewhere to stay? And, you know, 
I got a big ass heart. I love helping people. So I was like, yeah, that's not a problem. You know, her and I were already good friends. We hung out every day because we worked together. So I didn't mind her staying with me. I kind of had a feeling already of how she lived because in her barracks room in Korea, I'm talking about this girl couldn't even put like the trash can could be right here and she couldn't even put the trash in the trash can that shit would be on the other side of the room wait and so i i should have taken that already as a red flag but you know my dumbass never did so i was like yeah sure this girl could live with me that's fine until you find a place to live i'm not gonna let you be homeless because you're my friend so so i let her live with me and it was cool, whatever, because, you know, I didn't want to judge her for, like, her being messy. Because I know growing up, I was a little bit messy. But then, you know, I got older and I kind of grew out of that. And now I'm kind of like, everything needs to be where it needs to go. Yada, yada, yada. Cool. So, this girl, I remember, like, we would wake up for PT. And, like, she wouldn't even, like brush her teeth in the morning like she would just go to pt like that and i would think oh, okay you know she's just gonna brush her teeth after pt because she's gonna go back to sleep after pt anyway so maybe she's gonna brush her teeth after i'm talking about this girl will go all day without brushing her teeth she wouldn't take showers like days on end like i had to remind her like hey you should go take a shower you know like maybe it's time to take a little shower or something like that this girl was so like unhygienic so my makeup i would have my makeup and then she would just use my makeup without asking me and like i never said anything which is probably my fault i probably should have said something but she used to like grab my mascara and use my mascara and this this female used my mascara when she had pink eye didn't tell me anything she didn't tell me she used my stuff I went and used my mascara the next day. Bro, I got pink eye. I was like, what the hell? And I told her, I was like, did you use anything that's mine? And she's like, oh yeah, I used your mascara, but I thought it was going to be okay because, you know, we share stuff. And I was like, I got pink eye. I'm like, what the hell? That is nasty. That is nasty. I was like, you don't do that. So I had to throw that whole mascara away and buy another one. But that's just like one little incident. And I'm talking about. I couldn't first walk in. There's there's a shirt she left in the shower when she took a shower last night. This is all hers. You know, down line I'll be straight in my hair. <coughs> mm -hmm. These are underwear. Okay. That's cool. Let's move on over to my room. <sighs> Behold. Now, tell me this. Do I be leaving my room like this? Like, those are the leggings that she threw. Like, whenever I would do laundry, she would have to throw her clothes in my laundry and ask me to wash them for her. And I was kind of like... It was like one or two things. So I was like, whatever, I don't fucking care. But then it got to a point where I had to, like, make laundry days for her and be like, okay, let's go do laundry together. It's time for you to do your laundry. You know, your, 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 your uniform kind of smells a little, kind of smells a little fishy. You feel me? It's time to go wash them bitches and she just like in her excuse i remember one time she gave me an excuse and she's like well you know growing up i didn't have my mom to teach me how to be cleanly and i was like wait i was like so she's living in my, my barracks room at this point right and she's getting a little messy here and there you know i was kind of like picking up after her but it was like little stuff so i never said anything about it and plus like i said i'm still new so i don't want to say anything to this girl and like ruin the only connection that i have which is stupid now that i think about it but anyways let's fast forward right so she finally ends up getting back together with her husband and her husband at this point has a place to live so she moved in with him and i was like oh my god good for you finally you know like you guys could probably work this out or get your divorce i don't know what the fuck you want to do but whatever so she goes and i remember i would like go over to her house a few times and it was like messy you know but it wasn't as bad as i expected it to get so it would be like clothes laying down all over the place like places not going where it's supposed to go stuff like that like there would be like clothes like her like shirts and her underwears downstairs in the living room and like upstairs it would just be like glitter all over the floor and it was it was just weird and i have pictures so i'm going to be inserting all these pictures and videos and everything so i remember one time 
I wanted to do a good deed because this girl was like at home on leave and I was like, oh, I'm going to go clean your house for you because I knew how she was living and I, she apparently didn't know how to clean. So I was like, I'm going to go clean your house for you. But when I do this, you know, this is going to be like a fresh start for you. When I clean your house, you're going to maintain it and you're going to keep that clean. Bro, I walked in the house and now she has a dog, keep in mind. I walked into that house and I have a video of me walking in this house. I'm talking about dog shit stains all over the carpet. Like, literally, she left the shit there for months. Never picked it up. Never cleaned up the dog pee stain. It smelled like the smell like literally was so pungent it smacked you in the face I thought I was gonna throw up the second I walked into that house and this it was so disgusting like her upstairs she didn't even go upstairs anymore because one of the rooms she used to lock her dog in there she used to lock her dog in that room and that room is filled with like shit stains pee stains like the carpets torn up It was so fucking disgusting. And in her room, there's shit all over the place. And I was like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? So me still being a good ass friend. And I was like, oh, I'm going to try to clean up this shit. Staying downstairs, like in the living room where everyone walks in. Because she always has people over. And I'm like, no one tells her how bad this is nobody so i'm like trying to clean it up but it's been there so long marinating that it can't even get cleaned up off of the carpet like the whole carpet had to be replaced that shit was done for her dog the way i found her dog bro that shit was oh my lanta i should have called animal cruelty i should have called somebody to take that dog away that shit was so gross because i the dog was locked in like his dog crate and basically what she did was because i remember for a cool minute she was like staying in my room even after she got her house she was staying in my room and she went like two weeks without ever going home and i was like um don't you have your dog at home like aren't you gonna go take care of him and she like swore up and down that she used to go like while i was at work or something like that or she would use to go for lunch i was like yeah sure whatever if you say so but i go and basically what she did was that she she cut like she basically like cut open the dog food bag poured the whole bag in the crate and locked her dog in the crate and faced him towards the wall so that all he could see was the wall and i did not even know that she was doing this and i was like what the fuck i go and we open up the dog crate yo the wall was like he projectiled vomited all over the wall or he like was like having explosive diarrhea on the wall he was literally his dog food was mixed with his with his shit and his piss and he was eating it and eating it and eating it because that's what the fuck she left for him he was like the dog was like a brownish whitish dog and i if i have a picture i'll insert it and the dog just looked pure brown because he was covered with his own fucking feces what type of human being does this to an animal and i was like oh my god we gave the dog a shower we had to wash that dog like four times even for his coat to start clearing up it was so bad it was so bad and then like so i told her i was like you know what dude you have to get rid of this dog because you obviously are not fit to take care of him and how the how are you gonna mistreat this poor innocent animal like that is dude that shit hurt me because i got two dogs of my own who i love more than anything in the world and i was like what the fuck like my dogs are my kids okay they are my children and it just hurt so i was like you need to get rid of this dog so she did she ended up getting rid of the dog just for her to get a cat she ended up getting a cat So this is what I walk into, okay?
There's fucking glass on the floor, dude, where these dogs can just come in and out as they please. Are you serious? So now we're gonna fast forward a few months, right? And this girl, I guess like her and her husband are having problems again. Like he's throwing knives at her head. They're punching holes in the walls. Like they're very domestically violent with each other. So me still being a good ass little friend, I was like, I got my house, you're gonna come live with me. And I told her, I said, you're not gonna live like this. You're gonna keep your shit clean. I'm not gonna check up on you because I'm not your mama, but you're gonna keep your shit clean because you were old enough to know when you being nasty. You were old enough to know you were 20 years old, boo-boo. You were not a little kid no more. You nasty, you nasty, you got a problem. You got a fucking problem. So, I we pack up this girl's house and we move her in and i told her i was like i don't want you to bring your mattress because she used to not sleep with any like sheets on her mattress so it was just her mattress and then like the blanket she would cover herself with and like the mattress was like like the pee and the poop was like seeped into the mattress and there was no amount of cleaning that would have gotten that smell out of that mattress and it just smelled like rotten and like mildewy and like dog shit and piss like and cat piss like oh oh i almost threw up that shit is so nasty bro so she still brings the mattress and i tell her i'm like okay we're gonna go buy you a new mattress from fucking walmart the fucking bed in the box we're gonna buy you that shit we're gonna buy you a bed in the box from walmart because i'm not letting you keep this fucking mattress in my house that is disgusting it smells so bad i don't know why i kept letting this girl you know live the way that she did or why i didn't say anything sooner you know i think i just felt so bad because she was like oh my life is so de my life is so depressing my husband and i hit each other he's gonna kill me oh so i felt fucking bad for this girl the bitch guilt trip me <laughs> i'm a gullible ass bitch okay so she ends up moving into my house and the second she brought the mattress into my house bro the whole house the whole house fucking reeked reeked and i was like no I told her I took her mattress out and I put that shit outside. I was like, you gonna sleep on the floor, baby girl, because we getting you a new mattress because you're not keeping that one in the house. You were nasty. And she used to have boys over and they used to sit on that mattress. I'm like, y'all don't, ew. I'm gonna catch an infection sitting on that shit. That shit ain't right. So anywho, right, we're gonna fast forward again. And I'm not... Yo, I'm fucking doing my own thing. I'm only fuck at the time I was only 21 years old. Like, I'm not over here trying to babysit a 20 year old. That's not my job. I am not your mother. Okay, I am not your mother. I would expect you to see the way I keep my room and my house and my bathrooms, and you to just keep your little ass square of a room maintained. Cause even I even told her when she first came in. I said my lease states that if they drop by and they see that we're not being cleanly they can kick us out they can evict us and I was like I'm not losing my fucking house because you nasty I'm not doing it so I remember so she ended up bringing her cat and everything too and this is around the time that we're starting to fall out because she says that I'm like momming her too much or like I'm trying to be her mom or I'm parenting her too much because she would literally come home take off her uniform and throw it on the living room floor and i have guests i have friends at this point now and i have guests that be coming over and i don't want them to think that i'd be living like this trashy no so i used to tell her are you gonna pick this up are you gonna pause oh no what's that are you gonna pick up your clothes your clothes don't go there you know your clothes don't go there where do they go in your room in your room in the laundry basket go do something about it she used to, so she doesn't know how to cook, right? She doesn't know how to cook. So I was doing all the cooking in the house, which I don't mind because I like cooking. But you are a woman. You should know how to cook at least eggs, okay? Bro, I used to cook and I was like, fine, that's fine. I'll cook, you do the dishes. Bro, the amount of like attitude she used to give me because I used to ask her to wash the dishes because I fed her. I was like, this is crazy. I am astonished. I am shook it to the core. I was like, me can't bother with you because that is not right. I was like, that is not right, boo-boo. 
at this point your mama is not an excuse that she was not in your life no that is not an excuse what your dad really couldn't teach you how to fucking wash a dish your dad couldn't teach you that your dirty clothes go in the fucking laundry basket your dad couldn't teach you that when your dog shits you pick up the shit and throw it away your dad didn't teach you that if your dog pees in the house you clean up the piss and throw away the piss towels your, your, your dad never taught you that shit no that's crazy to think that's crazy so she gets back where her husband and doesn't tell me anything she just randomly stops coming to the house and i was like bitch i don't care because i don't want you in this house anyways like you're it, it, it didn't feel like home when i would go because i knew she was there and it was just like coming home from work stress the hell out and then coming home to more stress because i had to fucking treat this girl like a child you know and oh and it was so nasty because like she used to not flush the toilet she really used to not flush the toilet. I used to have to call her name and be like, McBeaver, are you gonna come flush this toilet? You want me to show you how to flush it? No? Oh, my Lanta. I was like, you really can't flush your fucking toilet. And then one time, oh my God, this shit is what set me off. And this is when like, this shit set me off because one time I guess she like dropped Cheetos on the floor and she's like oh I didn't want Rocky Rocky's my dog she's like I didn't want Rocky to eat the Cheeto so you know what she did she put it in the toilet like she picked up the Cheeto and the trash cans right next to the toilet okay it's right next to her she picked up the Cheeto put it in the toilet it was like three Cheetos that she dropped in the restroom put it in the toilet and left it there I'm like I literally told her, you're gonna scoop those Cheetos out the toilet because you don't flush Cheetos down the toilet. What the fuck is your problem? And I told her to scoop them bitches out the fucking toilet and throw it away. And I watched her ass do it because that is not right. Like, you really need someone to teach you how to fucking be... You you need someone to teach you common sense? Because that's what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start teaching you common sense. You know? You know? I remember too when her like little boyfriends would come over because she was so desperate like to be loved by somebody like I don't understand why I was like I was like dude just do you love is gonna find you if you stop looking for it it's gonna it's gonna happen you know stop being so desperate and stop opening your legs to every single person expecting them to fucking stay with you because that's not what's gonna happen they're gonna get what they want and they're gonna peace out on your ass you go peace out because you guys don't take showers either. So they probably smelled that shit and was like, never mind, I'm out, boo-boo, bye. Bye. Whenever her little boyfriends would come over, she used to take all her clothes and like everything that was on the floor around her room and she used to stuff it in her closet. And I would be like, okay. She used to literally stuff everything in the closet and then I remember when she had her cat and she stopped like coming because she got back with her little husband. When she had her cat, she locked her cat in her room for like weeks on end and i would literally text her be like are you gonna come for your cat your cat's hungry your cat needs water like i used to like like take her cat out of her room and let the cat wander around and i used to give him water and food because she was not taking care of that fucking animal another animal getting fucking mistreated because she was so fucking nasty and selfish oh hey dude me can't bother with her So anyways, right, I ended up telling her, like, whenever I would come and let the cat out, this girl's room was like a fucking hurricane went through her room and tore that shit up. And I have a picture of it, too. They gotta have a picture of it. Like, whenever I would tell her she needs to clean up, she used to just, like, she used to give me attitude. And she used to, like, give me an excuse with, like, Oh well, your bed's not made and then and, and I was like My bed not being made is equal to this like really I don't think so I don't think so boo boo you something's wrong with your ass when she would lock her cat in the fucking room Guess guess what was going on with cats pissed and shit It was getting smeared all over the floor. I had to scrub that shit off of my house because she wasn't coming back to the house she refused to come back to the house and like I remember she came to my house when I had to stay late for work and she knew I had to stay late so that's when she went because every other day I was like come pick up your shit come pick up your shit but she was so scared that I was gonna fight her I was like girl I am grown I'm not gonna touch you
not gonna fight you just come get your shit out of my house that was so nasty so you know what else i did too when she moved out because her poor kitty was eating fucking the kitty was eating the kitty shit out of the fucking cat litter because she was doing the same thing she did with the dog the poor baby i was like that is not right that is not right something is wrong with you she had like food in the in her room that was literally molded and like rotting she had like milkshakes that were done molded i don't like that like milkshakes in her room were molded and like oh dude i should have just said something from the beginning because even my boo was like girl you she was like you need to kick this girl out of your house you need to kick her out of your house and i and i was like yeah i know i know i know but you know like i felt fucking bad for this girl who's like obviously mentally unstable and then she tried and then like when i kicked her out she ganged up with this other girl and they like stole a whole bunch of shit from me and that's an, another story time let me know if y'all want to hear about all that i have a lot of stories basically the bottom line of the story was like this girl was so messy so disgusting and like she smelled so bad all the time she didn't take showers she didn't brush her teeth she didn't wash her clothes she didn't clean up her room she couldn't cook she barely could fucking wash dishes i remember she used to wash dishes and i had to go back and rewash them because she used to leave food in between like the forks like the fork little you know she used to like leave food and all that and i was like girl i know you i know you can see that i know you can see that Yo, I'm talking about when I cleaned out her room, the stuff that I found, I found pads filled with period blood that was like months old. Like the blood was black at this point and like stiff like a rock. And I was like, mm -mm, I gotta do it. I'm surprised my ass didn't find no rats in that room because that shit was so nasty. So fucking nasty. I couldn't do it. I couldn't. Yo, I'm gonna cry right now because that shit was so disgusting. I can smell it. I grabbed all her makeup brushes and I grabbed the cat litter filled with the cat shit and cat piss and I smeared her makeup brushes in the cat piss and shit and I put it outside for her to go get and she did. So I think I did cover everything. If not, I'll go ahead and do more videos about this because that bitch was so nasty. She was so nasty. I have so many fucking stories. And like, to this day, her and her little friend literally try to like one up me. Like they literally try to one up me. Everything that I do, they try to do it right after. Like oh my Lanta. Like these bitches cannot be original or anything like that. Like they like she used to morph her personality to act just like me. Started saying my phrases, the way that I used to talk. I was like, girl, you can't be you. You can't be, you know, you. You can't be, you know, you. <laughs> I don't think my descriptions of anything gave how trashy she was jenny justice like white trash when you picture white trash she was the definition of the white trash that people picture like i'm so serious i am so serious what anyways thank you guys so much for listening to this video and i'll see y'all next time bye